One is stopping you from leading. One is stopping you from leadership. When people are not inspire or aspire to lead, it's normally because of two reasons. One reason it is because you are not interested in what you are doing for your job, for your living. It's not inspiring you and it's, and it's, and it's not exactly your thing. Maybe it's not your season. It was good for a certain season in your life and you were good at it and you still you still are good at it but the reason why you're not leading you're not leading in your specialty you're not leading in like in thought leadership you're not leading teams because you're simply not interested because your season working on that particular area is over and another reason you are not inspired to lead because you you simply didn't find your zone of genius maybe like that like your profession maybe what you do is true your true passion and you have true talent but in corporate america leadership is always about taking more and always about um kind of telling other people what to do and how to do things but if we go back to my previous video, right? When I talk about three forms of leadership, maybe you're not, you haven't found your zone of genius because you can be leading by producing really unique work and it's your craft leadership, is your technical leadership, right? Maybe you have really unique ideas, but you never share it them with anybody because you think that you don't have a position to share your thoughts to share your perspective to share your opinions or maybe you are inspired to lead other people but you, you like you don't want to transition to formal managerial role right because you are studying how to coach for so long and you know how to lead people however you don't want to like you don't want to you don't want the title manager right and this is really important to understand your zone of genius because again like i said before you don't need a title you don't need a position you just need to lead and you just need to find your zone of genius your form of leadership because maybe maybe you're a wonderful thought leader maybe you're wonderful technical leader and you don't have to have a technical lead role a technical lead title maybe you can create something that will inspire people and lead people for best practices because this is how best practices are created in tech industry a person who creates something they they, they don't always have a title technical lead or a manager or a thought leader People just create and share their perspectives. This is how new technology evolves. Maybe you're that person who has that inspiration, or maybe you're that person who can inspire and provoke thoughts in other people. So find your zone of genius. And if nothing inspires you, another reason like nothing interests you, nothing inspires you to lead. Another reason, maybe it's a little bit deeper than that. Maybe again, just like growth and building, maybe it's emotional trauma. Maybe you were told so many times that you are not good enough, that you don't deserve to lead, that nobody cares what you say. And it's a lie because people care what you got to say. You just need to show up and show out. You just need to show up and show out to the right people. Don't care what other people say. Don't care what other people think. You just need to write and you just need to find the right people to lead. Let me know in the comments. 
if you're not inspired or if you think that something was stopping you from leadership, what it, what was it? Was it the lack of opportunity? Maybe you thought that in order to be a leader, you need a title. Or maybe it's something deeper than that. Maybe you didn't think of yourself as a leader. It's something that you can work on and, and something that you can uncover. Until next time.